It's me to a vent fan. I love it. Oh, good morning from RTR. Uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Mel and Diane, for uh, this lovely gift. I kind of have an idea what's inside already. You guys are so nice. Uh, also, thanks for the checkup the other day. Kidneys are feeling much better after all that water. But um, seeing people like you in person makes me realize the impact that social media can have in a good way. And so I just want to thank you guys for the support. It's beyond my, I don't know, beyond my, beyond words, but beyond my wildest expectations to be able to connect to people through making videos. So that's, uh, yeah, thank you. In other news today, I use the toilet for the first time in a couple of weeks. Uh, usually I've been going out into the desert making a cat hole, as it's commonly called out here. Uh, people always, you know, are so interested to ask me, hey, where do you poop? How do you do this? And how the, the basic functionalities of being in a vehicle full time. And um, you can do it. <laughs> it's not that hard. Um, so, yeah, just get out there and do it. Also, there are some winners from the uh, giveaway. Today's the day I'm gonna write these postcards. I haven't yet been to the post office, and just a heads up, um, it will be the definition of snail mail. <laughs> I'm not Amazon Prime, <clears throat> Amazon Prime whatsoever. Uh, there's a lot of variables and places I go and things like that. Uh, this event goes until Sunday, which is two days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't even know what day it is today. That's an awesome feeling. Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, if you do win one of these things, it will come to you. No guarantee on how quickly, especially if you're overseas. Uh, by the way, it's, uh, it's open to everyone. I didn't say it was USA only. I know that people watch outside the USA. So it's, if it's a difference of paying, say, 30 or 40 cents for a postcard postage, slightly less than regular. And say if it's like a buck more, hey, that's okay. I can afford that. Um, so today's agenda, I need to get caught up. I don't have a video which is scheduled. And I think I mentioned it took yesterday off. I don't realize how hard I go with the videos. And then sometimes all of a sudden I just get so wiped out and I'm like, I don't want to make a video today. I'm so tired. So yesterday was one of those days. Why don't we get caught up? Then we'll cruise around. We'll go say hi to some people. Did I mention I really like this vent fan? That's so cool. Hey, how cool is that? <clears throat> they were able to print off a, a picture of uh, me and Mel together with uh, Nick on the right and gave me a little gas money. So thank you guys very, very much. <laughs> well, I was minding my own business, and so look who showed up. It's Ma Bob Mon Mondor. Mondor, yep. Okay, I got it right. Like Condor. Yep. That's what, that's what he said. So, um, Bob is uh, here. He's at the RTR. He's going to be doing some videos. So if you want to uh, go and check out what he's doing, where can people find you on YouTube? Bucket List Adventures. Bucket List Adventures. Yep. That's good. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys saw the video I did with Bob, he has a very amazing outlook on life. Uh, unfortunately, cancer has come back uh, to haunt Bob. So I wish you well with that. It's a temporary thing. I'll beat it. Good. Uh, motivation right here. Um, so yeah, if you want to uh, go check out his channel, um, that would be amazing. And uh, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Thank you very much. I Jeff. wish you well. Thanks for the plug. Of course. Well, finally got an, uh, a video up. Today was a little bit, uh, man, it took me <laughs> a while. Uh, had uh, several visitors. Uh, and then uh, Camping with the Kellys came by. What's up, dude? What's going on? So, um, you got to check out their channel, by the way. We're going to go on a little ride in the little kind of razor type of thing. And uh, I don't know where we're going, so I'll let him do the driving. Or maybe he'll let me drive a little bit. Oh, yeah. Would you ever go back to uh, an apartment? No, oh, never. never. I've never done an apartment. I've always loved a house. But no, never. Yeah. Never. Yeah, it's good. If we ever get some land or something again, it'll just be a base camp. Yep. Nice. A few acres somewhere to park the RV for a month or two. Yeah. Maybe put up an outbuilding. Yeah. But other than that, no, I'm good. No more utilities.
stumbled upon this uh, little hut out here. RV, um, need an RV stove? <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, man. But uh, the first thing you can notice is all the different colors of the rock. Like this looks like some kind of marble cake. You know, this one has uh, some beautiful, um, perhaps that's uh, turquoise or something like that. If anybody's a, a gem person, you know, you, you'll definitely identify them. That looks some kind of like quartz or something. You had some beautiful uh, purple. Um, but, but yeah, even, oh yeah, that's right. Even a bottle right there. Some kind, I don't Man, know, like glass. this is super cool. And some of the colors of this stuff. I mean, I think, I think this is turquoise. And, um, yeah, it's really cool. It looks like the beef jerky I had the other day with the fat on the end. <laughs> but look at that. It looks like some kind of crystal stuff. So let's go on inside and take a peek. Uh, by the way, there's a little campfire thing in the circle. And, you know, you got to get up here with like a quad or a bike or a razor. So. <laughs> it's, it's very wild. interesting. And it actually looks fairly well maintained in here. Yeah, it looks like some old nudie mags are plastered to the uh, to the wall there. You can sign it. You can sign it. So you found it. Oh no way! Yeah, we signed it a couple of days ago. Right there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Camping with the Kellys. 118. Somebody found it after us. Yeah. Same day. That's cool. Oh no, 119. I wonder, is this a geocache? Oh, look at this. Yeah, there is a. Geocache oh, that's not here. the geocache. That is not it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a geocache here too. If you guys. Uh, I know there's a couple people who commented like, oh, you should do geocaching. I did look it up a little bit. I'm not super familiar with it, but it does sound like a lot of fun. And apparently there is one around here. There's one at the Spanish building too. The Spanish uh, cabin. There's another geocache that's Sweet. super hard to find. Yep. And it looks like people have left some uh, some of their souvenirs, like an empty beer. Uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know what that is. It wasn't really into comics too much. I broke the sign. Some beer. <laughs> But yeah, this doesn't. This is in really good condition. So, uh, you know, for all you abandoned fans out there, everybody watching Cody and Josh, yeah, I found a little abandoned place here. Across from the uh, the little hut over here, we have what looks to be an outside toilet. I don't know if this is just for a, like a novelty. I'm a little afraid to open it. I did. Uh, looks like. <laughs> Mostly dirt. I don't know if it's a composting type thing. It's really not a lot of compostable stuff up here. But uh, next to that is, uh, I don't know if these are novelties or real. That looks kind of like a novelty. Sheriff, Sheriff Roy shot because his gun was just a, toy. just a toy. Well, if you guys been on a tombstone, you've seen all the rhyming... You know, um, things on the tombstone, you probably realize uh, <laughs> the reference of that. Um, looks like this one could be rather fresh. Yeah. Nobody's even took his shoes yet. Their shoes are still sticking out. <laughs> that obviously is fake. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a, kind of an interesting little place. And, uh, you know, nice little afternoon uh, adventure out here. So. Thanks for thanks for uh, taking me out here, man. I That's really awesome. appreciate it. Yeah. No <laughs> Look who's driving. That's gonna be the Jacks, man. <laughs> I'm no stranger to off-road vehicles, although I haven't driven one of these things before. Hopefully, hopefully we don't go over the cliff. Here at uh, what's it, the Spanish? Spanish cabin. Spanish. What everybody keeps calling it, I don't know if that's. The... All right, Spanish cabinet, Spanish uh, something. Wow, look at this. Right here, this is a federal mining claim. Although it doesn't really say the claim name, claimant address, you know, serial number, whatever. Um, I don't know if. You can be shot <laughs> if you <coughs> if you're out there and you're on somebody's uh, claim. I was told by the gold uh, a gold miner at the event that if you're out there digging on somebody's claim, you're considered a 
Claim jumper. <laughs> I thought that was just a restaurant. <laughs> we was told just don't put anything in your pocket because the hills have eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that's interesting. Oh, there's a mine over there. Oh, heck yeah. Let's check out this thing very briefly. <clears throat> um, it's rock. It's rocking. <clears throat> and it is crumbling. It is rolling. Humpty Dumpty fell off this wall. Um, but it's very beautiful. And they even put like a giant piece of quartz right in this wall here. So uh, that's really cool. Um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, <clears throat> there's don't take the quartz out of this building. There's, ow, my shoulder hurts. There's a ton of uh, quartz everywhere up here. You can go quartz hunting, not on the mining claim area. But uh, yeah, you can go hunting for all kinds of minerals out here. Gems and minerals, it's really cool, really neat out here. Oh, wow, holy crap. Yeah, it's a hole. So, <laughs> oh my God, look at that, guys. Um, so there is nothing but rope around this thing. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to fall in, because if you fall in this sucker, Man, I don't think you're getting out. And by the way, there's barbed wire on this side. All right. I heard it hit. It, I think it hit the wall. Oh, okay. This is about as close as I can get here. I don't know. I keep sitting something and, and it might keep going down. But you know what's really interesting is, you know, when you come out here and you see something like this, no, it keeps going down. It goes, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, it did. So, but what's interesting about this <clears throat> is like how people found that this <laughs> was a spot to dig. Like, you know what I mean? It's like you come out here and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna dig right here, or like, mm, there's gold here. You know, like it's just I don't know. It's just so fascinating. <laughs> like, like I mean, that takes some real talent. I got, I got this here rock, a big, kind of a big one. I'm gonna just toss it down gingerly and uh, see how long it takes to hit the bottom. Is that uh, the bottom? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That was, that sounded like uh, some, some piece of wood down there. Yeah. We're going on a little exploration. We came from way up there and we're on our way back and we just happened to see a bunch of like white marks on the hillside and we believe that this is just like a giant concentration of quartz and also perhaps up there as well. So we, uh, we, drove, we drove this awesome little razor, super fun by the way, it's like a go anywhere kind of vehicle, uh, just right up here. And yeah, we're just checking out the, uh, the landscape here. It's just so weird. We have like green rocks and there's actually veins of quartz. What on earth is this? Looks like an old radio antenna. But there are like veins of quartz going through this rock. And yeah, I feel like Claire Bear would love this place. Super cool. But uh, let's head up the hill a bit. Holy crap. This stuff is coming right out of the ground right here. All this quartz, right in between these uh, cholla cactus and uh, or chola a cactus, <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I don't know if there's gold here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if is all this is from picking and digging and trying to you know tinker up here. But check this out. Boom, we're completely covered with quartz. Look at this, it's like a quartz farm right in front of my face. There's pink quartz, I believe, regular quartz, and then whatever that uh, rusting material is, that sure is cool. Look at this jumbo Mac Daddy piece of quartz. Look at this huge thing here, you know? So, if you guys are into quartz, or if you're into rattlesnakes. This seems like a little rattlesnake den up here. But look, wow, look at that. Whoa. It looks like the, 
like a, a part of the steak with the fat vein running right in the middle of it. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, all you meat eaters, before you cook it. Wow, this is so interesting up here. Oh my God. It's so intense. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? This looks like an old tree. What is going on? What is this stuff? Wow. Man, this is awesome. And <coughs> if you guys don't know the phrase, microclimate, this is a microclimate. We have a bunch of Ocotillo cacti. We have a bunch of Choya cacti. We're just kind of surrounded right here. This is a perfect elevation temperature, the way it cools on the mountains, uh, where the yeah, cold air hits down, uh, facing the sun perhaps. This is badass. I really like this. Yo, what do you think about this? You know, I don't know about you guys. I'm not really sure if I've seen a more beautiful desert, a little natural potting plant, if you will, than, than this. That's absolutely stunning. So we just uh, discovered an open mine. And uh, let me zoom out so you can see. But uh, from this angle like this, you can see how they would somehow uh, uh, walk out of here or you know, pulley it out of here with donkeys or something. But down below, that looks like an open area. And this whole hillside is just covered with quartz. Thanks so much for uh, taking me out. Let me drive the uh, little rig here, the little Razor. Oh, Had a super fun time, so uh, I'll see you around. Mike and I wore out. Oh yeah, that was fun too. <laughs> uh, well, I'll see you, you're just right over there. Right there. All right. Stop by whenever. Thanks man, All right. see ya. Bye.